Hey guys, Will here from AR1500.com. I want to do a short little clip to show you guys the operation of the uh, Atlas Bipod from B&T Industries. This is going uh, along with uh, the in-depth review that we're going to have over at AR1500.com. So make sure you go over there and check it out. So you have five different positions that you can put the, uh, the legs in. You can go fully forward, which is the stowed position that I use. 45 degrees forward, standard 90 degrees, 45 uh, degrees towards the rear, and then you can actually, there's another stow position that you can push it all the way back here. Mine won't lock into that position because I have a sling attachment point. It's not a big deal because I never, I never put uh, the legs in that position. I stow them forward. Uh, to adjust the length, you simply uh, grasp the leg, use your thumb to pull down on this spring-loaded cap here, and then you can extend the length from four and uh, three-quarter inches out to nine inches. So it's real easy. Just grab it, lock it in place, and it's rock solid. So uh, make sure you guys check out the review. Again, that's air15hunter.com, and we hope you enjoy. Warning. There is hunting in the video you are about to see. If this offends you in any way, please leave now. So here we are with the Atlas Bipod out in the field. This is in northern Arizona, a little pocket where we found a pretty decent little prairie dog population. And uh, here you can see me shooting from the prone off of a tree trunk. And uh, as you can see here shortly, it was quite windy. We had quite a bit of wind that day, probably the most the entire trip. However, uh, thanks to the Atlas Bipod, I was able to get down the prone, get in a real stable position, and uh, take some shots like this one here you're about to see, which I believe was at about uh, 125 yards. It wasn't the longest shot of the day, but it wasn't one of the shortest either. As you can see here, he's just munching along, and then we take the shot. And bam, he's dead right there. Uh, we apologize again for the shaky video, but as we stated, it was quite windy, so setting the video camera was a little difficult that day. But again, the Atlas Bipod really helped us be successful. Um, I really enjoyed using it with my rifle, and it really provided a, a stable platform for me to shoot off of, whether in the prone or off of one of our benches or off a log. Here we can see another uh, one of our kills from later in the afternoon with uh, my rifle posing with the Atlas Bipod. Again, this was a really, really uh, successful combo. But uh, to check out more about uh, the Atlas Bipod, make sure you see our full written review over at uh, air1500.com. And uh, as always, please subscribe to our channel so that you can see the upcoming videos we have. Take care.